Have you heard of the amazing new technology called OpenJFX Lite? No? Well, let me show you. OpenJFX Lite Demo. I'll click Finish. And what I'm able to do by means of OpenJFX Lite is use Gradle or Maven together with JavaFX as provided, for example, by Gluon. And for the front end, and this is why it's called Lite, I'm able to use not JavaFX components and not FXML, but HTML. Now, how do I do that? I've created my little application here. It's given me some Gradle scripts as a starting point. It's given me a small bit of Java code. And what you see here in the input statements is clearly we are using JavaFX. But what are we using from JavaFX? We are simply using the binding feature of JavaFX. That enables us, thanks to OpenJFX Lite, to bind our Java code to our front end. And here is our front end, an HTML file. Take a look in the Java code again, and you can see here that there are references to properties, num to do's and add to do, for example, whereas in the HTML, we can see that those references are being used. Those properties that are defined by means of JavaFX we can refer to inside of our HTML. So here is to-dos, and here you can see num-to-dos, which, thanks to OpenJFX Lite, are references to our JavaFX code. Now let's start a debug session. So I set a breakpoint, I right-click, and I choose Debug. And what we now have is the JavaFX web view. And in that web view, we have our little demo scenario, now we've hit a breakpoint now, and here you can see we've hit the breakpoint, we continue the process, and now we have added our item, and we'll add another task. And again, we hit the breakpoint, and we step through. And so, as you can see, OpenJFX Lite uses the JavaFX web view for debugging purposes. It's very convenient to do debugging on the desktop. But of course, we don't want to deploy our application in production on the desktop. We want to run it in the browser. And that too is supported by OpenJFX Lite. We start our run process and you see here that what is happening is that JavaScript is being generated for us. Our Java code is being transpiled down to JavaScript when we run the application, enabling the application to be opened in the browser. We will have Java on the back end and we will have JavaScript created for us by OpenJFX Lite. And here we have the application in the browser, exactly as we had it before in the web view, working exactly in the same way. But the wonderful thing is, back in our code, let's make a small change, for example, here. And we'll make this to uppercase. Now, when we run the application, and we do our add over here, you can see that the text has gone to uppercase. Now, why has it gone to uppercase? Well, thanks to Java. We are using Java in the browser, thanks to OpenJFX Lite.